SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL is a great way to monitor your database performance agentless and cost effectively. Today we will focus on three areas. Set up server monitor in minutes, customize dashboards, charts, and monitors, track and compare configuration changes. SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL is installed in a Windows or Linux server. After connections to MySQL databases are established, it runs 24-7 to gather information about database performance, configuration, log files entries, and OS metrics. This data is gathered via agentless collectors using built-in MySQL service that add almost no overhead to the monitor database. After initial installation of SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL, the first task is to register database connections. Database connections require minimal information, host, port, and user. The MySQL host can be either on a Windows or Linux system. It supports encrypted communication via SSH tunneling, as well as SSL socket connections for additional security. When registering a server, you can assign tags to the server. The tags are free forms text that can identify production levels. Each metric can be configured with a low and high threshold. This tab allows you to configure how notifications are sent when a metric is exceeded. This will typically be SMTP for email or SNMP for alerting. The Advanced tab allows you to change how often you collect the data, how long you retain the historical data, and different ways to collect queries for analysis. Now we will look at the dashboard. The dashboard allows you to create pages of the metrics that are the most important to you. There is a large list of out-of-the-box graphs that can be shown on each page. You can select or deselect the graphs you want to show, as well as select several servers in a dashboard to compare their metrics. SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL comes with over 600 metrics that are used to measure configuration and performance. Metrics are organized into groups, and when specific groups is selected, the, the individual monitors are shown. Each individual monitor has a name. It belongs to a group, and has a JavaScript code to be used to calculate a value. The description and advice text are useful information available on each monitor. Each monitor can be configured to operate only under certain conditions, helping to avoid false positive events. The page defines a lower and upper threshold, as well as what activity to take when a monitor event takes place. Now moving on to track and compare. The server config page allows you to compare configurations between multiple servers or to view configuration changes over time on a single server. Initially, you will only see values that differ. You can see all configuration values by clicking on the show only change values. In addition to comparing changes, SQL Diagnostic Manager from MySQL can show you how the configuration of an individual database has changed over time. Select Compare and change it to Track. You may have to change the time frame to a very long period, such as six months. If you would like more information about SQL Diagnostic Manager from MySQL, please visit idea.com and watch some of the other videos that we have on YouTube.